I was sitting in the testing center as a young computer science student and taking a test, obviously. That's probably why we go to testing centers. And there was a question on the test saying, huh, if you have six uh, digits, what is the max number of values you can have representing six binary digits? And what is the max positive value you could represent with those six binary digits. And of course I panicked and was very worried because binary was a big scary thing at the time. Uh, so I pulled out the scrap paper. I had tons of it. And I probably had more scrap paper and time than brains. And I sat down and said, okay, six digits. Six digits. Let me draw six digits. There we go. There's six digits. There's one state I can have. And Okay, well, there, let's see here. Uh, here's another state I can have. And, uh, all right. Let me count up. Let me count up. Yeah, this is good. This is good. This is good. One, one. And you see, I'm just enumerating all the states here. And then when I was done, I eventually worked this all the way up. Dot, 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 dot. I got to one, 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 one. And I said, oh, okay, what's what's that value? And then I started saying, well, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. I literally just counted all the things I, uh, all the permutations I had written down on my scratch paper. And it took a while. Uh, but I, I did get the question right. <laughs> now, when I told my uh, friend who is smarter than me about it, he laughed and said, oh, Jamie, that's there's an easier way to do it. There's a formula. And he showed me the formula. And um, I can't remember if he explained to me why the formula worked or not, but I'm going to explain to you what the formula is and why the formulas worked. A uh, little side note, uh, while my wife was in labor with my first son, I was in the testing center, and, and I ended up taking... Oh, that's a long story. I took the test and I got an A on it, and then I rushed off to the hospital. I don't know know how much my wife appreciated it. I don't think she did. But anyway, let's see if we can figure this out. But instead of doing six digits, let's start with two. So if I give you two binary digits, what's the? Uh, uh, there's two questions here, actually. Let me just type them out. And it's, it's important because the. <coughs> It's important to write the questions down because they are two different questions. The first question is, uh, what? Oh man, that font. Uh, that's that's going to take up way too much screen space. What? Uh, actually, how many uh, values can we represent with n digits? I'm going to say n <coughs> because. Uh, uh, it could be two digits, it could be six, which I think I had on my test, it could be 13, it could be any arbitrary number of digits. So how many values can we represent with n digits? And then the second question is, what is the maximum positive value uh, we can represent? Oh, is that it? I can't go any further. Repre... How about that? Zent. <laughs> with n digits. Okay? So those are the two questions we want to answer. Well, like I said, I showed before with uh, two digits, we can actually let's start with one, okay? With if we have one digit, we can have a zero. We can have a one. That is one digit. Okay? How many states do we get? Well, we get two. All right. Let's do uh, two digits. All right. With two digits, that's zero, zero. 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. There we go. There's all the permutations. Well, how many uh, permutations are there? There's four in that case. Let's go to three digits. All right. Well, that's, that's going to be 0. Let me do it like this. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. Well, let's, let's look at what we have here for a minute. If, if I take 0 and 1, well, if I add another digit like I did out here, all I do is take the previous set of numbers I have and then prefix all of them with a 0 and then do it again but prefix all of them with a 1. Okay? So 0, 1. Here's 0, 1 and then prefixed with a 0. And then here's 0, 1 prefixed with the 1. Now let's take this set here, and if you can see here, I took this set here, and here it is again, and here it is again, but I prefixed them with the zero, and then I prefixed them with the one. 
Okay, and this pattern continues on and on forever. If I did four and we had enough uh, screen real estate to do it, you would see that same pattern uh, repeat itself down here. We just take all these values and then prefix them with a zero and then take them again and prefix them with a one. So essentially, every digit we get is doubling the number of values we can represent, which hopefully makes sense because this is base two and every digit we gain is another power of two. Okay, so let's see if we can answer the first question. How many values can we represent with n digits? Well, in this case, it's 2. In this case, it's it's 4, and so on and so forth. But is there some formula we could come up with or use, or maybe I could steal from a book and try to explain in a video? <laughs> uh, is there a formula we can use to determine this instead of having to sit down on our test and take an hour to enumerate all, uh, all of them? And yes, actually, there is. Let's... Uh, let me erase all this stuff down here. I can't just clear the screen because that would clear this stuff up there too, and I want to keep that. So let me just erase all this down here. I think that's good. Uh, here, here's how we do it. How, how many values can we represent with n digits? Let's go to two uh, binary digits. Let's go 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. And well, let's just look at this in the decimal base 10 equivalent. That's 0, 1, 2, 3. Okay. Now, wait a minute. We can represent four states. However, the highest value we can count to is 3. So the answer, in, in, when n is equal to 2, what is the maximum positive value we can represent with two digits? Well, that's a 3, but how many values can we represent with two digits? Well, that's 4. There are... One, two, three, four values here. Yes, zero is a value, even though it's it doesn't. I mean, it's like the nothing's there. Yes, it's still a value, and I have to count it. So, so here we go. This this is easy. The we have zero through three, and then this to to get the maximum number of values we can store. Well, it's it's like we counted the three, but then we're adding one with the zero here. Okay, adding one extra value with the zero here. So, so if I took three here, this one, 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 and I add another one, what's the next number we get? Well, that's zero, zero, and then we have overflow here. Well, that puts our one out there. Well, that's a four. That's four. If you look at this number here, this binary number here is four. Okay, so how many values can we represent with n digits? The formula for that is just 2 to the n. All right, or you can think of it as take turn on all the bits and then add one, and that that gives us this. Right? Where, where does the 2 to the n come from? Well, our n in this case is 2, is it not? So, how do we convert this binary value to decimal? Well, I've shown it to you before, but this is 2 to the 0, 2 to the 1. Oh, look at this. This is 2 to the 2. And in this case, our n, our number of digits is 2. So this is 2 to the 2. 2 to the n is, in this case, 4. All right? Now, what would it be for maybe on my test? I can't remember. It was, I think it was 6. All right? so, so if I have 6 digits, well, I could repeat this pattern again. But basically, I need to count up 0, 2, however many numbers of digits I can have with 6. Or I can say, well, now what, what, what is 2 to the 6? Because I know it's going to push this over the next slot. Well, 2 to the 6 is equal to 64. So I'm going to have 64 states. So on my test, it must have been. I remember it going into the thousands, so maybe I had more digits. Maybe it was 13 digits. Who knows? Anyway, uh, what is the maximum value we can represent with n digits? Well, to get the maximum value, the 3 in this case, uh, I basically have to subtract 1 from our 2 to the n. right? Or I just take take the the next overflow value and we have two digits so I'd say zero zero throw one out here but if I back up one on my odometer or I subtract one that turns these on and so it's basically two to the n right or in this case two to the two minus one to back up to to take away the overflow and go to all the bits being turned on in however many digits we have all right so how many values can we represent with n digits well it's two to the n but then what is the maximum value? That's 2 to the n, but back off 1, and that'll give us 3, 3 in the case of 2 digits, all right? 
So maybe maybe I confused you, maybe I didn't, but but that's how that works. And maybe you'll <laughs> if you can remember get these formulas down and understand them. If you ever have this question show up on a test, then you will spend a significantly less amount of time on your test than I did on that day.